Wait, so what's your hypothesis of the plants that you're testing with the uh, pesticides? The planarians? Yeah. My projection is uh, it, that those are like very toxic. Even it doesn't it doesn't matter if how much of a quantity you apply, you are like affecting them. So which is kind of interesting because in theory, I mean, I can I can like share a lot because uh, I'm still of the on the middle of the thing, but uh, okay. I have I have read about it and it's like. Mm, in literature you can find like this happen like this and this and this but i'm seeing in real life other things so my hypothesis is like i'm gonna make a very good discussion about it you will see hopefully hopefully in a year and a half from here i you you're gonna find out about like my little planarian so is it one type of pesticide or is it multiple types? It's one type of pesticide, but that pesticide has like a different, um, um, how do you call it? <sighs> like compounds. So it's okay. like the same one, but they have like different, a little bit in different kind of like compounds and chemical structures. So probably right now I'm like working with the first one. So I, I mean, I already knew like uh, probably they're gonna be like dying or whatever, and that's what's happening. <laughs> and the other one probably is gonna be like pretty much the same. For but I'm really excited about this and about like my results because first is something that I'm actually expecting. So mm -hmm. if something that I'm not ex expecting happen, it's gonna be like more exciting because you know have like your little observations. And then at the end, you can like discuss it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. That's why I, I, I told you like trust the process because at the beginning it was like, I want to do this, this very, very fast, but science doesn't work like that. You need to be like very patient and you, to, you need to like mess up all the time. So you can like be like, hmm, but how about if I move this and this and this, you know? So I don't know, I'm like, just like really excited. My advisor is really excited about it. And right now I think, I'm like doing pretty well, but it's something that I'm expecting. It's happening, yes, but I'm also ex expecting to something else to happen. I mean, not very weird or radical, but this, you know, maybe so with the other compound. How? Noticing changes, uh, like observing changes um within the experiment how often do you observe results is it daily is it weekly is it every other day i for example i usually set my experiments on monday so every experiment needs, needs to be done the same day so every day that i set an experiment is new result mm -hmm. So all the those results are like you know being like wrote down in a in a notebook or in the computer. So that thing is giving me like a curve or whatever or any other statistical thing. And and at the end, uh, the thing is I'm just gonna compare. But every day, I'm, every day that I say a new experiment, I'm getting new new results. So that's why it's, it's exciting because. I don't want to say like this fast because if not, I'll be like contradicting myself. But it's like a bunch of results in a short period of time, but these are like a long. Uh, but is experiment. it? So is it every Monday you observe the results? Uh, it's actually uh, every week because I usually set experiments on Monday. Sometimes it's also on Wednesday, and sometimes it's also on Friday. The thing is, right now I'm not like going every day to the lab because I have other classes. But I'm looking forward to next year just doing only research when I'm done with all the, the classes and, and, ex, and exams. So, yeah, sometimes it's just like Monday, you have your results. And then I'm setting another set of experiment, experiments on Wednesday, you have results. So you're like accumulating all those. So you can be like, 
you can do a little bit of comparison like between them when you have like in a small amount of data, but it's not enough because I I need to do like repetitions just, you know, in case <laughs> you're like yeah. doing something wrong, which I actually did the last time I said an experiment. I did something wrong and I need to redo it, but it's important to mess up, <laughs> to say like, ah, something is really wrong. <laughs> but you know, the fun thing is when you're like doing these experiments over and over again, because it's kind of like the same experiment, experimental design, you can tell when you're like doing something wrong because the yeah. planarians, even though they, they don't speak, the planarians are like really cute platforms. Uh, you can tell like something is wrong because they are like moving in a wrong way. So you're like, mm -hmm, maybe I'm doing something really wrong. So you go back to your notes and then write, and then you start like checking and then you're like, okay, yes, I now I know where, where I mess up. So you need to go back and redo it again. <laughs>